Hey you! Yeah, you! Are you going to college and don't know how to do your laundry? Well, you've come to the right place. Being in college for three weeks has given me the opportunity to find the most efficient ways to do my laundry. Let's start off with what you're going to need. Detergent. There are many different types from dry to liquid, but the easiest form are detergent pods. According to Patrick Lenton, a writer for Junkie, the small packages contain pre-measured detergent along with softener, which just makes the whole process easier. And no, you cannot eat them. Now, dryer sheets. According to Bounce, dryer sheets are used as fabric softeners and static charge reducers for your clothes. You also need to understand the washer and dryer system that you're using, as each one is different. For washing machines, there is a cycle length and cycle speed. Cycle length could just be thought of as how long a machine is going to clean your clothes. Always aim to have your clothes on the shortest cycle possible because the less that they're spun around, the longer they'll last. Permanent press is a fast slow cycle, meaning that the wash cycle is fast and the spin cycle is slow, making it a good choice for the majority of your laundry. For dryers, there are many different settings that affect the way your clothes dry. Regular is the highest heat setting, best for heavy items like jeans, sweatshirts, and towels. Delicate is the low heat setting for delicate cottons or shrink and stretch prone materials. Low heat drying is also great for garments that tend to retain smells even after washing. Permanent press is the medium heat setting with a cool down period at the end designed to reduce wrinkling. This is the one you want to use for most of your clothes and for your sheets. So to recap, permanent press is the safest bet for most of your laundry loads. Now let's get to the real fun. Arm & Hammer mentions that the first step you must take in order for this to work is to separate your laundry. The most obvious way is by color, darks, lights, and whites. You then want to further divide the laundry by fabric type, so thicker fabrics like sweaters cannot be washed with thinner fabrics like a tank top. And the last separating criteria you can apply is soil content. If your clothes are super dirty, then you should wash them separately as they probably need a stronger wash. If you're really short on time and can't go through these steps, separate your laundry by fabric type or even clothing type. Next, throw one load of laundry into the wash. Remember to add the correct amount of detergent pods by following the directions on the back. Close the door and choose the right cycle. Before you load clothes into the dryer, remember to clean out the lint or else the dryer will explode. After the cycle finishes, transfer your clothing to a dryer, add the correct amount of dryer sheets, close the door, and choose the appropriate setting for the load. Once your load is fully dried, make sure to fold it as soon as you can to prevent wrinkles. If you aren't able to fold it right away, lay the clothes out flat somewhere. After following these steps, you should have completed your first load of laundry. I hope this video was helpful and that you learned something about how to correctly do your laundry.